What's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about something called ADMM and this is this algorithm can be considered under the umbrella of subject called distributed optimization and which can be explained as sometimes you might have a I don't know problem and you might have also memory issues or privacy issues so you might wanna and in a way decompose the current problem right so but instead of like for example x1 and x2 and instead of maximizing or optimizing like over x1 and x2 like directly try to you know decompose the problem where you minimize for x1 and then using that as x1 minimize for x2 and you might consider you might imagine that would be an iterative algorithm and some like if the problem is a well-behaved problem that would behave in a nice way and it could converge it wouldn't be hard for you to you know and find the no minim minimizer point and okay and admm is kind of related with with that subject and it's called alternating direction method of multipliers there is also another algorithm called method of multipliers and there's like and for example dual S ascent is also another algorithm but i think for the current like optimization problems where people try to use distributed optimization the, this algorithm is more related to the current state of the art okay let's consider the following optimization problem like we said and we have x and z these are the decision variables and quick re reminder f and g they must be convex functions of x and z respectively and if you think about it if for example and there is a equality constraint right and this is a fine right and if we didn't have that type of equality constraint that would be like easy to decompose right we might be able to focus on that problem right and imagine like x having i don't know x and z having like really big dimensions and you you might wanna you know decompose if you can right th th that's the basic idea and okay and then by using that by using that again f and g are convex we construct what's called augmented Lagrangian I mean you, you know what Lagrangian means and this is the Lagrangian and this is like usually you would denote it with the uh, Greek reader lambda right and all right but in addition to the conventional let's say Lagrangian we also have this type of I don't know um, term and this term in a way makes sense because okay we want to like minimize this it makes sense however we also want to make this term I don't, like zero if it's possible right make as small as possible because we want to impose the equality constraints that is stated in the original problem all right so th this is the basic idea and you might wonder why you know this type of like augmented Lagrangian this Lagrangian has some I don't know better like it makes us it makes it possible for us to you know decompose the problem and that's a valid question and we, we will you know in investigate that okay my tablet is being annoying right now okay all right and the uh, ADMM algorithm can be stated as in this way all right this is the this is the Lagrangian and in a way this is a typical right first minimize over x and then using that x minimize over z in the meantime you need to like uh, keep the other you know decision variables fixed to a certain you know uh, value that you computed in the previous iteration probably right and okay we first need to compute x and using that x we will compute z and 
in each iteration we also have the dual variable and by looking at the error term like you might want to call it equality constraint error term right and we are going to like in a way this is an integrator right even boy to set that has the i don't know um, function of pi contour in a way in a way because this is error and we are like adding that on top of it so it is an integrator action all right and this is the algorithm i'm not gonna explain why and i believe it kind of makes sense right okay. okay let's try to look at the example problem all right this is our example problem and this is f of x and this is g of z right and this is the equality constraint define equality constraint and these are the dimensions these are all right and by you looking at the c dimensions we construct the or we get the dimensions of the y do a very birth. and again since we would like this example to be a convex in terms of x and z right respectively and the positive semi definiteness constraints positive semi definiteness constraints are you know warranted and so let's look at the by the way before saying anything else yolmip and is a tool that i use and in matlab for that optimization problem and as an stp and or like a solver i have also mosaic all right just wanted to make that clear and all right okay let's check the let's check the quote all right first okay i need to really zoom all right first we are constructing x and z real like the true parameters true, true, true values of the decision variables right and okay and since for the reproducibility i use that state and um, okay and um, on top of that we need to create x qx and qz and since we would like them to be positive definite right we ge just generate something and then like in a way square it okay and again a and b and then also c terms are created and first i assign rho as like 0 0.001 okay but then I, then I change that right i'm gonna explain it why and this is the y dimension so we have where is it x dimension z dimension and y dimension okay so this is the like problem construction so right let's look at the subroutine all right in the subroutine and this is the first step of the and remember there are three steps in the ADMM and this is the first step what is that first step okay give me z and y right and also like the related parameters of the problem and i'm gonna ex i'm gonna you know minimize over x okay and this is your MIP syntax right and okay so this is the augmented, augmented lagrangian and again we don't have any constraints we only have objective volume which is or objective term which is augmented lagrangian and this is like scp settings like options and mosaic and this is the because options and parameters okay and then optimize that like solve that optimization problem and give me the you know x k plus one when i say p i, I meant that x k, k plus one all right so this is this was the first step in the adm algorithm and let's check what i mean by that okay what i just show the subroutine and um, all right that was that okay and this wow my tablet is been i don't know what's the issue okay and this is the second this is the second 
I don't know, like operation. And this check, you might want to imagine that, I don't know, this is the type of thing that you would create a subroutine or function for, right? Okay, let's check that. Let's check that. This is the, like, mini mic. Wait a sec. Ah, okay. This should be minimize Z. Hmm. Wait a sec. No, no, okay, that, that was a typo. I'm sorry. This is this should be minimize minimize Z. Alright. So you give me X and Y and the race parameters. And then okay, this is Z. Like we are defining the decision variables and we are also you know defining the parameters and this is the augmented version and optimizing over z and outputting z okay so this was a typo i'm sorry okay and okay this was a problem construction and now let's check the loop and all right start the x z and also like this is the dual variable right and just setting them as vector of ones and then this is zk and yk and this is like 100 iterations we were going to you know, and optimize and then this is x cost history and what do i mean by that okay this is the problem right okay so this term is x cost this term is z cost and remember we also have that we also have that equality constraint, define equality constraint, and then okay, this is this is the equality constraint cost. How did I write that? Yeah, constraint cost, constraint cost. I okay, denote it that way. All right, x cost, z cost, and okay, this is x cost, this is z cost. And this is the constraint cost. And okay, this is 100 iterations. And yeah, I'm updating pro as, as 1 over k. Okay. And first, we are minimizing over x. And then by using that, that term, okay, we are like, this is the same as given in the, you know, statement, like algorithm statement. And by using that x term and also the y term the dual variable term and we optimize over z and find z k plus one and this is the equality constraint related terms and this is raw and we update the dual variable so minimize x minimize z and update the dual variable okay and this is just to use in the you know other iterations and okay we are computing x cost this is x cost and this is z cost and this is constraint cost terms and okay we are just going to plot them let's check that uh, yeah we are just when the iteration is over we are just we are outputting a bunch of terms and it's norm like i'm looking at the x rear and also the x that's been determined and the optimization like it, it, one all 100 iterations is over it doesn't need to be like this term doesn't need to be zero or is it, right because what we are doing is to minimize f of x plus g of c okay and we are plotting we are plotting the x cost z cost and also constant cost okay let's check the plot Okay, this is iterations and cost values. Okay, cost values, rated x and cost z cost, and then constraint rated cost. Okay, you can see that it is converging to something. And yeah, that, that, that's it. That was a like, general idea. And you can find this code in the GitHub, and the link will be in the description. And okay, let's check the algorithm one more time. Okay, this is the algorithm. And that's it. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.